The Bunny Graveyard's first anniversary is finally here, and to celebrate, the developers released a roadmap for the future of the Bunny Graveyard. And in today's video, we'll be analyzing and theorizing on this roadmap. So if you don't know, the Bunny Graveyard is a pixel art horror adventure game made by Pick'n Games, and the game has just had its first anniversary. And to celebrate, the developers not only released this artwork for the occasion, but they also released a roadmap for the future of the series. This roadmap came in the form of a new page on the official Pick'n Games website. And this website holds a huge secret, which we'll get into later. But first, let's talk about the main roadmap, as it holds a ton of interesting info. First of all, there will be an update to the main game, as well as the Nintendo Switch port coming soon. This update on PC will be coming soon this year, although it's not specified when. Next, we can expect two plush campaigns from Makeship, one in October and one in November. There will also be the release of the game soundtrack onto platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, which I'm definitely excited to see. And that's all of the events for 2024. Moving forward onto 2025, we can expect both the PlayStation and Xbox's ports of the game sometime next year. And most importantly of all, we can expect the sequel to the original Bunny Graveyard game, The Bunny Graveyard 2, which will get a video of its own at some point. And last but not least, this website's big secret. Near the end of the page, a big plan for the bunny graveyard is teased at. But, the website says that you'll have to find it to know the big plan. But I'm here to help. If you paid attention to this website, you'd notice the multiple arrows thrown around the page. And if you follow these arrows and click here, you'll get directed to this secret page. Which are short teasers for each of the upcoming The Bunny Graveyard games. In which there will be five of. The first one shows the first game which we've already played. The second one shows a drawing of a carrot house, in reference to Carrot Town, the place where the second game takes place. This scribble is also captioned Meet the Hero and Her Town, which is talking about Sky and Carrot Town. Next is the Bunny Graveyard 3, which has a drawing of a sword. The caption also speaks of meeting a fugitive, which we know nothing about. A fugitive is someone who has escaped or is in hiding, but that still doesn't help us narrow it down to who it could be. The fugitive spoken of here could potentially be C, the character that was leaving notes throughout the first game. Not only is C a viable candidate for this space, since they haven't been confirmed to be anyone else, but my most damning piece of evidence. C is the third letter of the alphabet, just like the third game. So, altogether, this fugitive is almost guaranteed to be C, or a new character entirely. This could potentially prove the theory that Claudia is C, as Claudio has gone missing and could be considered a vigilante. Next is the Bunny Graveyard 4, which is given a drawing of Saturn. This could be symbolic, tying into the symbolism of Saturn, or literal, meaning the player and sky go to space. Whichever it is, it'll definitely be extremely interesting. The game is also captioned Meet the Captain and the Wild One. If the image of Saturn is to be taken with seriously, then we could be meeting the captain of a spaceship, and the Wild One could potentially be an alien. And last but not least, the Bunny Graveyard 5, the final game. This time, the drawing is much more difficult to understand. There are a multitude of things it could be, like a butterfly, or even a suit. If not one of those, it could even be the creature the cursor was chasing near the beginning of the Bunny Graveyard. Overall, this was a great way to keep fans in the loop, and I can't wait to see what else this series has in store.